Well, when you think of farming, cotton, peanuts, soybeans, and corn come to mind. Well, today I want to introduce you to a 76-year-old young man who has taken farming to a whole different level. For the story, we head to Douglas in South Georgia. At first glance, you might think he grows vegetables, what with all the shade cloth and all. But in reality, what you're seeing is something very few people do for a living. At least, not to this extent. You see, what you're looking at is a worm farm. You are talking about about three or three and a half acres of worms. And you're talking about in the neighborhood probably of 35 million worms. And why would someone get in the worm business? Just through the grace of God. I never dreamed about getting in the worm business. And I had a heart attack a few years ago. And, uh, and here I'm in the worm business. You know, I found some little red wigglers and we took it and started from there. Yeah. Uh -huh. They raise mainly big reds, little reds, the Georgia Giants or the European red, as well as the Alabama jumpers. And you can buy them by the cup, the pound, or even by the ton. It's quite a process. These, uh, these boys are getting the worms out of the beds, running them through the, the worm separator to the point that they can, and then these worms are placed on a, a table and let them go, out and, uh, go down. The worms are sensitive to light, and so that just helps us to do a better job than getting up our worms where we can sell a pound of worms for a pound of worms and don't have uh, you know, any other kinds of uh, materials in it. The worms are put into the separator, and as it rotates, off goes the soil, leaving nothing but the worms. You see, tractors are part of the harvesting process, but it's manpower that takes over after that, and it's a painstaking procedure. The key to their growing success is what is known as worm castings. The worm castings are the results of the worm's poop, all of the ingredients that we put in our beds, you know, which consist of sawdust, lime, uh, brewery grain, corn gluten and soy hull, cottonseed hull, just a, a whole lot of things go into it, but this is the end product after the worm works it up and it is considered some of the, the best uh, bi land building material there is in the whole world. So people not only buy the worms, but the castings as well. Fishermen, organic farmers, anybody that grows flowers, gardens, or just wants good compost buys from the farm. He sends his products to cities all across the United States. So. The worms are mainly, well, they're mainly fed brewery grain, a semi-load or 25 tons of it a week. You have problems, you know, during the spring of the year, say when you when your robins are migrating, they you know the robins like worms. Then you have uh, you pests, you know, like coons and armadillos and uh, polecats. There's just a lot of things that eat worms, and and you have to stay on top of that too. Each pound of worms contains about 1,600 worms. They recreate continuously. Each worm will lay about 900 eggs annually, with an average of about eight worms per egg. Denny, I, I would say I, I, uh, that I spend at least 50 hours every week with, with my worms and trying to manage the operation. I, you know, I'm 77 years old, it will be my birthday, and, and I can only do so much, but I'm, I'm right on top of my worm program. Making a living out of things that crawl, and uh, I got to tell you, I've never seen so many crawlers in my entire life. Well, you looked a little uncomfortable <laughs> yeah. there, Denny, maybe a little out of your element, I can't blame you. 